celebrate one of life's greatest moments. We are here to commemorate and give recognition to the beauty of love that is shared between Fred and Gerald as they complete their family in holy <coughs> matrimony. Yeah. Marriage is a contract not to be entered into lightly, mm -hmm. but thoughtfully and seriously and with deep realization of the obligations and responsibilities. Marriage is the moment where two souls are joined together for eternity. It's the moment where two become one, and now a hybrid entity is formed with the purposeful design to function better than the two ever did individually. As the Bible reminds us over in Ecclesiastes, the fourth chapter, starting at the ninth verse, it reads, the two are better than one because they have a good return on their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can they keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Let us bow our heads in a moment of prayer. Father God, we humbly bow before you in the name of Jesus, praising your holy name. Father, we ask your blessing upon Fred and Geraldine today as we celebrate this momentous occasion in their lives. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus that you will grant them happiness and contentment as their two lives come become one and as they create a new family unit and explore the depths of their love for one another. Bless their families and friends and relationships which have supported, strengthened, and sustained them throughout their lives. Father God, bless their home as a place of love and of peace. Father, I ask you to add a special blessing upon them, Lord God, concerning their hearts. Lord, it would be easy to bless, ask that you bless rings, but I'm asking that you touch their hearts right now. Amen. That the rings just be a reminder or symbol of the love and commitment that they share one with the other. Touch them, Lord God, that their marriage can be an example to those that are around them, Lord God. Let it be used as an encouragement, Lord God, as an instrument, Lord God, uh, uh, to uplift those, Lord God, who may be single and who may be desiring. For those who may be married and are going through, Father God, touch them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you come in and you deal with them. In the name of Jesus, you continue to guard their heart. You continue to guide them the way you promised us in your word in the name of Jesus. And Father, we'll be careful to give you all the honor. We'll be careful to give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The joining of two hearts as husband and wife is a commitment like none other. It offers opportunities for sharing 
and, it's, and, and, and for personal growth that no other human relationship can equal. A husband and wife are each other's best friends, confidants, lovers, teachers, listeners, and critics. I'm going to say it again, critics. <laughs> the bond between husband and wife deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller and commitments become stronger. Marriage also encourages new life and new experiences and finds new ways of expressing love through the ups and the downs of life. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Y'all forgive me. <laughs> We're going through this thing together, y'all. Because all of us, all of us are marrying them off today. Y'all know that, right? Yes. Amen. Amen. Fred, Gerald, as your journey begins, as husband and wife, I'm, I'm asking that y'all would do me a favor, that you would both remember always to treat each other with the utmost respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you here this day. Amen. Amen. I ask that you learn to work together, that you learn to laugh together and love together. Don't get caught up in these worldly things that will draw you apart. Instead, I want you to Focus on your shared devotion, and when things get tough, turn inward and learn to trust each other. Amen? Amen. As your relationship strengthens, you'll find that you come to share a remarkable love, a love that is both abundantly given and freely accepted. Amen. Amen. On your journeys together, do me another favor, and I'm charging you on this one. Keep God first. Yeah. You hear me? And keep your spouse in the space of highest priority in your heart, always esteeming the other better than yourself. That's how the family unit is going to be strong. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes. The love that you share, it's got to be guarded and it's got to be cherished because this is the most valuable possession that you have here on this earth. Amen? Amen. It's a treasure that you can't forsake and it's a treasure that you got to make sure that you take care of and you don't let no thing in there. Amen? Yeah. Do me a favor, and I want y'all to turn and face one another right now. Fred, do you take Geraldine to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, to love, to honor, to lead, to cherish in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, for as long as you both shall live, I do. Amen. 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 Gerald, do you take Fred to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, to love, to honor, to obey, and cherish in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, for as long as you both shall live? I do. Amen. Amen. Can we have the rings, please? And the watches. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, families and friends, the couple has decided not only to exchange rings, but they wanted to make sure that they make complete the family unit. Amen? Amen. And so what they did, they chose to exchange, to give watches to the children mm -hmm. to symbolize and to encourage them and to let them know that they're part of this great occasion as well. Amen? Amen. Amen. Is that all right, y'all? So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to give y'all the, the watches, and I want y'all to put them on the children. Amen. 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 Bless the name of the Lord. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Sometimes children are just looked over. Amen. 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 Especially when they're included in, in the whole situation. 
And we give God praise for that. The rings. An unbroken circle which represents unending love. As often as either of you look upon these rings, may you be reminded of this moment and the love you have promised to one another. Fred, excuse me, Fred, take this ring. <laughs> Amen. I want you to put it on, your, on her finger and I want you to repeat after me. Geraldine. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As a, as a symbol of my love, and that, I, and that I'm choosing to share. That I'm choosing to share my life's journey with you. My life's journey with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring with the pledge to love you. With the pledge to love you today. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And always. And always. Amen. Amen. Gerald, take this ring, and I want you to repeat after me. Fred, Fred, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love, and that I'm choosing to share. That I'm choosing to share my life's journey with you. My life journey with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring with the pledge. With the pledge to love you. To love you today. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And always. And always. Fred, and Gerald, I want to wish you both much love and happiness as you begin this new journey. Remember to keep lots of laughter in your marriage and in your life. And I guarantee you, if you learn to keep laughter and love, joy is not far behind. It will allow you to be able to make it through every situation that might come. Amen? Amen. Now, Fred, you may kiss your bride. Amen. Y'all good? I do it again. One more time. One more time. For good measure. Amen. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Fred, Gerald, you have pledged your faith to each other in the company of your family and friends. And by the power vested in me in the state of Michigan, by the state of Michigan, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Give her a kiss. And I want all of y'all to do me a favor and turn around. Amen. Turn around and face the crowd. Uh-uh, uh, put them on the other side. Bless the name of the Lord. Family and friends, I'm proud to present for the first time as husband and wife. Mr. Frederick and Mrs. Frederick, her name.
saying they're going to move everything. Can close those doors so they can shift the table. Oh, they didn't want to say that. There's a whole lot of people who oh, didn't come okay. out. No. Right. 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 Or they didn't understand. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the key's Promise that. 
that I can't keep. I promise that your smile ain't gonna never leave. Shopping sprees in Paris, everything 24 carats. Take a look in that mirror. Now tell me who's the fairest? Is it you? Is it me? Say it's us, and I'll agree. Albuquerque to chat time. I got the crowd yelling. Bring them out, bring them out. I'm a hot girl selling. Bring them out, bring them out. All the dope boys selling. Bring them out, bring them out. Front the back gate yelling. Bring them out, bring them out. To get with other rap niggas hooded in this. I got rich. Turn down for what? Turn down for what? Turn down for what?